There's a lot of people, there's a lot of stories, and people have a lot of stories about Ricardo and about their movement. Ah, 50 years, brother. Never forget, man. Took care of our people. What are they? Copals, the incense of the Aztecs. My name is Priscilla Falcon. I, I'm a professor at the University of Northern Colorado. I teach in the Chicano, Chicana, and Latinx Studies Department, and we are here in Fort Lupton uh, at the Hillside Cemetery celebrating the 50th anniversary of the death of Ricardo Falcon. Tancashla, Wakantanka, grandfather creator. We ask for your guidance today. We pray Ricardo Falcon's familia. And over the generations, the the example that Ricardo led, his goal was always about education and that instead of being excluded from education, we sh Chicanos should be included in education. See the hawk flying above circling? Ricardo's right here with us. He, his soul still lives with us. His words still live with us. His fight still lives with us. We still have to keep fighting. We are becoming a very multicultural society. And for the most part, institutions have little understanding of the needs of Chicano students. And if we want Chicano students to succeed, uh, we need to have more of an acclimation and an understanding of, uh, of what that culture is all about. I am honored, honored to be here, to be here with my brother. I will live for my gente because my gente is our future, and we have to keep our brown color proud.